Hey guys, welcome back to another Blackfire Productions X-Wing Battle Report. Again with Mike, yeah. uh, second one. Um, yeah. So we played a 50 point match earlier, we're doing a second match this time. Uh, again, Rebels, right? Rebels, yeah. This time, instead of Scum Villains, I'm doing Imperial Army. Uh, so uh, we're doing 100 points this time, so a little bit bigger. That way, you know, I can sort of work my way into it a little bit more and, Certainly. Yeah, and see scale how it goes. Up. Yeah, and scale it up, exactly. And who knows, maybe eventually get into other stuff uh, as time gets on. I actually, I, they come with missions, do they not? With yeah, the they ones, do. Like yeah. the, the, yeah. the transport. And some and campaign the, type stuff. Yeah. As well. See, that's, I really want to get one of those. I want to get the Raider. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. The yeah. Raider for the uh, Imperials, that'd be awesome. But I don't think the Scum of Villainy have a big one. Not a big one yet, no. No. So I want to get one of those because it's Battle Hoth with the Rebel Transport, right? Uh, yeah. That would be cool to do. Might see that maybe. Who knows? We'll see. I got to find somebody that's willing to do this with that ship. So if you have one and you want to do it, email me. Just get in touch. Anyhow, uh, so 100 points. Uh, we've changed up the board. We got our guys ready. So we're going to show you our army, show you the board, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to start off with my 100 points of Imperial Army. Uh, starting off, I have the Echo. Uh, it is a TIE Phantom. Uh, it has Veteran Instincts, which gives me a plus two to my pilot skill, so pilot skill eight. Uh, it has Advanced Cloaking uh, Device, which allows me to perform a, cl uh, a cloaking action after I attack. Then I have a Recon Specialist, so every time I take a focus action, I gain one additional focus. Over here next is the Royal Guard Pilot, so it's a TIE Interceptor. Uh, so I did give him the Royal Guard TIE uh, card, so that allows me to uh, take two modifications as long as my uh, pilot skill isn't lower than four, which it's not, it's six. Uh, so the two modifications I, I took for him is a Stealth Device and a Shield Upgrade. And then over here, I have Push the Limits, which allows me to do two actions in one turn as long as I take a stress token. Next, I got the, what is it, the uh, Night Beast there. So that's that one there. Uh, wait, it's a tie. They look the same. No. No. It's a Night Beast. Um, so basically, he allows me to get a free focus action after I do a green maneuver. And then the next one is just the Black Squadron Pilot TIE Fighter, and he has Determination. So whenever I'm dealt a face-up damage card with the pilot trait on it, I discard it immediately without resolving the effects. So I'm assuming that I just get rid of it. It's like getting rid of a critical hit so I don't take the damage. So that <laughs> is the Imperial 100-point army. We're coming in on the... Uh... I want to call it the Millennium Falcon. Fortunately, I didn't buy the title, so it is just a YT-1300. All right, YT-1300, but... What? Who's it? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Chewbacca. Probably a really bad-sounding Chewbacca. Oh, don't worry about on it. On a bad sick day. So we got Choc uh, Chewbacca here. Yeah. Uh, chocolate Chewbacca, apparently, chocolate as I was going to say. Chocolate yeah. Chewbacca. That's okay. Uh, so basically, whenever he... Uh, he is chewy. <laughs> whenever he's dealt a damage card... Uh, that's face up, so whenever he gets a crit, he can flip it right down without resolving it. Nice. I gave him veteran instincts to bump yeah. his piloting up to seven, yep. and a recon specialist along with Janors who can flip a focus token into an evade token. That's very, very good, actually. So uh, over here we have there we just four straight Talas. Four Talas. Right out of the box, no upgrades. Just, no nothing. Just there. Z95. 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 These things killed me in the last game. <laughs> anyway, so that's the 100 points Rebel Army. So we'll come back to see who has initiative because we're both at 100 we're points. At 100. Mike's going to roll for the uh, initiative, see who gets it. So go ahead. All right. Ah, you have initiative. I'll take initiative. Yeah. All right. What side do you want? I'll stay here. All right. He's going to stay on the other side. I'll stay on this side. Easier for me. It's where all my plugins are. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and we'll come back after deployment. So the dials are down. The table is set. And we're ready to blast each other's ships to pieces. So uh, due to the fact that Mike has initiative, his four uh, pilot Talas, skill, yeah. four Talas are going to be moving first. And they're all over there. All right, perfect. So first one, wait for. <laughs> they're all going to be probably doing that. So we'll see what happens. So these two Talas over here, they went directly ahead four uh, movement forward. These ones over here have went three. They all have focus. So now we're down over here to my black squadron who is going straight ahead five. Speedy little bugger.
Alright, so my Black Squadron pilot's all the way up there. He's now going to take an evade action, just in case somehow somebody targets him with something that I don't know about. Uh, so that's that. Over here we have the Night Beast. Wait, that was supposed to be a 5. Straight ahead. So. And again, he's going to evade, just in case. Next is going to be my Royal Guide Guard pilot on the interceptor. Wait, he's also going five. I'm just going to move right up there. All right, so the Royal Guard interceptor is going to boost. So hard with one hand. Thank you. And he's going over there. And then he's going to push the limit and evade. Taking a stress token and a focus token. The Furball himself, Chewbacca. Straight ahead four. It's going straight four. Whoa. And he will focus, and yep. then Janors will make one into an evade token. Awesome. Cool. And for its action, it's going to be cloaking, because that's what it does, is cloaks. And that's that. Uh, Activation phase or combat phase here. So uh, yeah, the turret. The turrets, here. Yeah, and range three shot. Range three shot. All right. Can I boil two green dice? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see what happens. Strength three hit. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, you got two evades at I, least. I, I got a uh, yeah, two evades. So that yeah. gets rid of a hit and a crit, and you're left with a crit. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that. Wow. That's terrible. Ship. Uh, this card counts as two against your hull. Two damage against my hull. That was a lucky shot. Wow. Wow. So I'm just going to go like this. Hold on. It's against my shield, though. I have a shield. Oh, you have a him. shield? I have a shield on him. So he's gone. Oh. So that shield upgrade. Sorry. Yeah. I have the <laughs> shield upgrade. So he's gone, yeah. So no shields, and uh, if you're hit by attack, discard this card as well. I was hit by attack, so a stealth device is gone. Boom! That was bad. That roll is not stereotypical. We'll see what happens. Though. All right. So the royal guard didn't like that, so he's gonna shoot Chewie back uh, with two. Okay. So range three, and I uh, will spend it. Spend the you might as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's that for shooting. Uh, oh no, you have two talents that might be in range yes. as well. Start with the outside one. Hits in range, range, range three. three. I'll just need one. One hit. There we go, evading. That's how it should be done. And the second one is range three as well. Range three as well. We're correct. And two. There events. you go. So we're good. All right, so beginning of the. Uh, Activation phase here and moving phase. Right, so this talent, yeah, you can take a hard three. Hard right turn three. Okay. And he will. Oh, oh you know what? Target lock. Target lock. Yeah, makes sense. On to echo. Yeah. Yeah. And second one's gonna take two. Oh, so close. Yeah, we're good. And does he have range for a target lock? Yes. Well? Yes, he does. So there we go. And these okay. guys yeah. both just both straight go ahead one. one. Hmm. And then they'll both focus. Yeah. These talas. I wonder if they're as good as the TIE Fighters. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll go to my four next. Here, Black Squadron Pilot. Banking to the left three. I hope I'm safe. I'm hoping, uh -oh. I hope I'm not safe. Aww. Oh. That's not what I wanted. So he's on there. Not doing anything this turn. But that's all right. Say that be. His damage roll, oh. and he takes a critical hit. So that's Black Squadron. Uh, let's hope it's a pilot trait, because then he'll ignore it. It's a ship. This card counts as two damage to your hull. Oh, he has one hull point Ouch. left. Ouch! Not good. Uh, next will be my Night Beast. 
He's going three. And not doing that. Not hitting it. Not hitting it. Not hitting it. And he's going to evade. Because he needs it. <laughs> Next will be uh, this guy here, I guess. He's going straight ahead, too. I should have thought of that better. Dude, what am I thinking? Oh, no. Might be able to skinny sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that gets rid of that. Uh, he's going to... He's going to evade and push the limit to focus. There we go. And then he gets a stress token back. And we'll see what happens. Fuck us next. Tight turn. Oh, I'm glad. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here. Uh, well, we're at range one of everything. <laughs> and he'll pull the stunt of focusing with the recon specialist yep. and jam orders. All right. Next is my phantom. All right. So the phantom is doing a bank to the left or right of three. So Echo has the uh, Phantom has over here moved over there. Echo and barrel rolled in front of that guy, uh, getting away from the asteroid. Uh, he is in their arcs, but that's all right. Uh, his action is going to be uh, focusing for two focuses this turn on him. Focus eye. Foci. Foci. Something. <laughs> Something like that. Who knows? Anyhow, so his uh. Cloaking token is now gone, uh, so we'll go into shooting. All right, so here we go. Uh, the Phantom is going to shoot into this Z95 headhunter here, hoping for some good rolls. Nice. Uh, it will spend one of the focus for sure yeah. to make all those into uh, hits. I am probably not going to survive this. We'll see what happens. Uh, no. no. So that's five in. That's straight out. Straight out dead. The Phantom takes one down with one shot. I like it. That's pretty good. Though, he's going to be frail, though, for the next phase. You might you get that one shot at, at him, so we'll see. Yeah. Here, Chewy is going after the Interceptor. Yep. And range I believe one it's shot. range one, so yep. Let's see what happens. I Ooh. will focus. Yep. Turn that into three hits. Well, I will uh, spend a focus and the evade. <laughs> To get rid of those three hits. Nice. All right. Over here, uh, the Royal Guard is going to shoot back at Chewy for attack. Uh, one hit, one crit. Nothing. Nothing. So so uh, I'll use the evade token and yeah. then uh, lose a shield. All right. And then over on this side, again, range one uh, into this Z95 right there. So two hits. One evade and a shield. All right, that's what I need. And that's it for my shooting. Over here, this Tala squadron pilot. One. Is in range one. Let's see what happens. I don't know, I'll use the target lock. Yeah. Three hits, so I need something. Nothing. Oh. So that's a, uh, that's Uh, ship, this card counts as two. So you just destroyed that phantom. Phantom. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. That phantom is dead. Next are the talons over here. Yeah. Gonna range one. Here. Should be range one for both. Yeah. I would agree with that. So he... Yep. There. Uh, oh. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll take a crit on him. I guess. I guess, yeah. Because I'll spend that evade token. Cancel out the two regular hits. Uh... That is the Night Beast, right? Yes. Oh, the Night Beast. Uh, after <laughs> the round in which you receive this card, <laughs> treat your pilot skill as zero. All right. So, pilot skill zero next. And so. the last guy. Yeah. All right. There Stop that one. There we go. All right. All right. So, that's that. So, back to planning. In the activation phase are the Talus. So, we'll start over here. Yeah, sure. Hard so two. Hard two. Playing the asteroid, and he will throw a target lock. On the Night Beast. Head on Night Beast. Yep. And Koyagron. I have a 
feeling we're going to see a lot of uh, K turns this turn. <laughs> <laughs> and oddly enough, no. Just a nice oh! little soft turn. Soft turn to the left. Right. Uh oh. No. No. Yeah. So, right there. And he loses his action. Yep. And your force. Well, yeah, my four. Over here, the Black Sun Squadron pilot is moving K turn to the fort. Nice. So the uh, the Black Squadron pilot did the K turn successfully and took a stress token. What's that? Uh, next five. So my Night Beast. K turn to the three. Get me your way. So uh, the uh, Night Beast over there, if you look closely, did successfully make. The uh, K turn, he's just hairs away, but he does take a stress token, so that's that. And then next over here is uh, the Royal Guard pilot, who's doing a hard right two. All right, so the Royal Guard pilot did his uh, hard right two. Uh, he's now going to be doing a barrel roll. Well, ends him there, then he's going to take a bait action just to save him a token. And that's that, so Chewy next. Chewy! Hard oh, one. Hard left one, yeah. I don't know. There you go, you're centered now, so... No, but, no, I'm going to bump there. Yeah. Alright. So no, no, uh, no action for Chewy. No. Well, you can't shoot him, you can shoot somebody else. Yeah, and yeah. you got the turret, so it's not a bad thing. So, All right, there's that. We'll come in with shooting next. Chewie with range one at the uh, black, black squadron. squadron. Excuse me, black squadron. Oh! Hit the crit. All right, come on. One of them. So, that's the black squadron who uh, is taking care of the game. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, so Night Beast here is the next one that's available to shoot. He's going to be going to the tower there, so, uh, yeah, thank you. Actually, I got, I got a third one over here. Okay. So, here's the three attacks. Oh. Hitting a crit. And uh, uh, then, uh, that's no, three, so he's down a shield and takes a damage. Takes a hull, or a crit. Oh, is it? Yeah, one was a crit. And he's out. He's, Direct yeah. hit. Ah, direct hit. Eye for an eye. There we go. And then you have the one tallow left over here. Yes. Range two, probably. Yes, yes. range two. Two hits. Uh, one on the... Is it, it's a night beast, right? Yeah. Uh, so he takes a second damage. That's that. So back into the planning. Starting off with the tallows over here. A hard right to the left. Or hard turn to the left. I said hard right. I meant hard turn. Focus. Yep. Yeah. And. Saw. So, oh, bank to the left. And that clears his stress, and he'll throw a target lock on the night beast. Yep. Night Beast be going next, and he's going two, should be to the green left. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, so he uh, ends up colliding with that guy. Won't be taking an action, but gets rid of the stress for this turn. Uh, next is the Interceptor, Royal Guard. Hard right two. Hard right two. Okay. All right, so the interceptor went over there, barrel rolled, and then he's going to push the limits, and he's going to evade, for sure. Give him an evade token. Next is Chewy. Ah. <laughs> That's what I thought he was going to be But it's a big base, so... Let's see what happens. Oh, he's good. He's oh, he's good. safe. He's good. So that. he's going to... Focus? He'll Down. just focus twice because no yeah. one's going to be able to shoot at him. Yep. But he can do some shooting, so... Yep. Target lock could be good, too. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nah. Nah? Okay. Oh, I said it. Next is Chewy. Ah. <laughs> That's what I thought he was But it's doing. a big base, so... Let's see what happens. Oh, he's good. He's oh, he's good. safe. He's good. Look at so that. So he's going to... Focus? He'll just focus twice because no yeah. one's going to be able to shoot at him. Yep. But he can do some shooting, so... Yeah. Target lock could be good, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nah. Nah? I'll, I said it. I'll keep it. All right. Sounds good. The interceptor is going to shoot off or shoot at this Z95 there. Uh, so they are in range too. So here's his tackle. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Squadron, the only shot that he has is back at the interceptor. Yep. One, One hit. So here we go. Rolling to see if I get some heavies. And I get nothing. So he will uh, take a damage. There's two left remaining. Next will be probably the next tower. Yep, yeah, and he's gonna finish off Night Beast, I hope. Alright. Uh, focus. Yeah. Two hits. There you go. One evade, and Night Beast is destroyed. So the Interceptor is by himself. Next round! Let's see what the Talons are doing. Mm. It's hard to. Ah. Into his own ship. That's okay. No planning. No planning. And I think this one's gonna be in trouble too. Uh oh. That's okay. Maybe. Yeah. No, he hits. Yeah. Can't do the turnaround, so, unfortunately. Stop him there. Yeah. Sure. And well, he still takes the stress. And he takes the stress, yep. Uh, next will be the interceptor, which the interceptor. Let's see if I can get it. It's going straight ahead four. If you could be so kind to measure that out. I think I put myself right in your path. Yeah. Yeah. I was not hoping for that. I was hoping it was the other way around where you move further than that. But anyhow, that's that. We'll come back with content. Yeah, so actually, I'm going to do a couple of actions with him because the stress token is gone. He's going to barrel roll. One. All right, so the interceptor has uh, barrel rolled, uh, and now he's doing a push the limits to take a, an evade action. And that's that. And he's stressed again. Uh, next, Chewy. Tight turn. Tight turn. Ooh. What? That's going to be hard. Someone's going to maybe be in the way. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> he made it just barely. So, that's um, that. Let's uh, go into combat. Chewie next. Oh, focusing. <laughs> All right, combats with Chewie. Range two. Range two. two. Ready? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm filming. One hit. All right. Should take him target. One of it. So he's good from Chewie's shooting. Let's look at the uh, Talus. Talus, range one. Yeah, range one. Oh, oh. 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 Does he, he has a folk? No, that's No, two. he bumps. All right, that's right. Here we go, so I need. Ew. You got an evade. I got an evade. Now how many hull you have left? I have, uh, I'll have one hull left, because I got, right now, one damage on him. So I'll use that evade, and, uh, Take a second damage. Ooh, that is not good. Activation turn, so let's start with Talus. Yeah. It's gonna take a just banking to the left two. Banking to the left two. Clears his stress. Yep. And just in case you flip around or something silly. Oh, well, you probably can. But anyway, focus. Yep. And over here. Ooh. I'll throw a target lock out. On me. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, next is the interceptor. Might as well go right into that. So he is going hard left two. Hard left two. Hard left two. Uh oh. I don't think that's gonna make it. Uh, no. I think I moved you there, right? 
I wasn't so. paying attention to me. <laughs> yeah, no. moved just slightly, but I don't know if that was just in the movement or what. So. I don't know. Talk is next after the bump. Yeah. Hard left. Hard left. It's right. Okay. My left, your right, your right. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And he will... Target lock? Target lock this yeah. time, yeah, because that really would have helped the last time. Yeah, I agree. All right, here we go. Chewy, let's start us off with some shooting. Range one, I assume. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. And... Yeah, I'll take it, just to be just, sure. Yeah. All right, he's dead. I can't even stop that. He has one hull point left, so that interceptor is blowing up in that dogfight there. Uh, so that's another game. So, Mike? Yeah, Good great. Game, man. Thanks. It was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> well, guys, that was the second X-Wing battle report for Blackfire Reductions. Uh, Mike came down for the day. We filmed a couple of battle reports. We had both wins. Uh, two losses, but that's okay. Still a fun it's game. It's still fun, yeah. It's still fun playing, yeah. Um, you know, Got to try both the Scum and the Imperials against its Rebels. Um, super, super good vehicle you had there with that YT-1300 yeah. with Chewie. You know, getting double focus, the turret, the moving, like, yeah. and everything else yeah. like that, the angles. Really, really good. I think probably you've started the game. Most likely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, other yeah. than the tower that one shot at Echo. And that is pretty good. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I was hoping the Echo was going to be the start of my game because it has a huge attack rating. But and it's generally very dangerous. It's yeah. just bad dice. Bad die. Took him out. One turn. One turn. Um, for anybody that is just getting into X-Wing, super cheap to play. You don't have to pull it out and no, paint it up. Anything, yeah. So it's really good for people like myself who are busy. Uh, you know, I can pull it out and just have fun. I don't have to worry about putting it all together. Yeah. And the rules aren't very, aren't very difficult. No. They're, they're simple to learn. Exactly. So uh, it's a really, really good game. Um, so I'm going to continue filming them. Hopefully Mike can come back. I'd love You'll to see come back. Yeah. And uh, remember, guys, to like and subscribe and share the videos. Or like and subscribe <laughs> to the channel. Share the videos and then come back for more later on. Um, so thank you again. No, thanks again. And uh, keep on watching, guys.